Mr. Trump engaged in insurrection and therefore was disqualified. Maine Secretary of State announcing her decision to bar former President Donald Trump from that state's presidential ballot, citing Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. Maine joined Colorado in excluding the Republican frontrunner, despite the fact that Trump has not and may not uh, be convicted of crimes related to the January 6th Capitol riot. Panel, both decisions have been appealed, and it's likely the U.S. Supreme Court will be compelled to settle the issue. Uh, okay, lawyer, what's going on here? Uh, the problem is he's never been charged with insurrection. Okay, if he'd been charged and convicted of insurrection, I think they'd be right, but he, they weren't. So the Supreme Court's already voted, they, they did on late Friday, they're going to hear the case, and I think it'll be 7-2 or 9-0 to flush it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, what's interesting about all, all these attacks on Trump, uh, all the card cases, uh, what is it, zillions of indictments, whatever, his numbers go up every time this happens. It's almost like... The left in the country really wants Donald Trump to be the Republican nominee. Oh, the right in the country is just it, lacking the testicular fortitude to do the right thing or the brains to do the right well, thing. If, one, if, one of the if, two, if, if, not, the if, polling, not, if not both. If you look at the polling. Because <clears throat> you got to think about what you just said. Every time this happens, his numbers go up. That's yes, correct. the Democrats are doing dumb, dumb stuff, but the poll numbers aren't going up by the Democrats. They're going up by people who are oh. actually supporting this predator, but this criminal, this <laughs> buffoon, this narcissistic turd, exactly. this whiner. <laughs> the reason that they're what supporting is him, though, is because they, the unfair. Democrats are Hold making on. him look like a martyr. They exactly. keep doing this, and they're making him look like a martyr so his numbers go up because it pushes some Republicans even further into his corner. Exactly. I mean, they didn't charge him with ins an insurrection. Whether or not you feel he did it, they didn't yeah. charge him with that. So then to pursue this, it's when we know it's not going to go anywhere because of the way the Supreme Court sacked anyway, it just doesn't make any sense. And then it puts us in a position of becoming like a banana republic because now you have lieutenant governor saying we should remove Biden from the Texas ballot, and then we have other governors saying we should move this person, that person. We're opening up a floodgate that we can't close. And yeah, oh, and by the way, we're also distracting uh, the public <clears throat> from the real issues we face. That's the biggest problem. So Trivia for Charles problem. Blaine. That's I easy. bet you don't know where Banana Republic came from. I don't. Okay, and you had something to say on the border. Uh, yeah, I'm sick and tired of them going down to the border in their tactical vest for photo shoots on a pontoon boat looking out into the sunset to sit there and say that they're doing something when they don't do anything. We, This country was developed based on a revolution, and they were able to build a country based on nothing. And we can't solve a problem as simple as the borders because they don't want to solve it, and that's the reason. You have 30 seconds. I do. The, and the border problem starts with the administration, which refuses to enforce the law. And my friend Sergio uh, talking about them doing their job is a joke because they're basically uh, immigration and, and, and the border police are escort services, okay? And the state of Texas, to some extent, is doing the same because we're escorting them to other cities. So we're the traveling, other thing of interest this week I had to mention, <laughs> the left-wing media in the country is now talking about immigrants from Texas not illegal immigrants into the country. So now they want to send the elite Texas immigrants back to Texas. They want to give us the problem. No thanks, I Mayor. just want to say our taxpayers are paying for this export services. Okay, we're going to talk more <laughs> later. When we come